Megan Hicks of I Run Far, and I'm here in Healdsburg, California with Dan Metzger. It's the evening before the 2016 Lake Sonoma 50 mile. Hi. Hi. How's it going? It's going well. Thanks for having me. Of course. So you just rolled up the coast from your home in Monterey Bay. Yeah, yeah. We live in Marina, just north of Monterey, right by there. Okay. And you are... I don't know if there's a better definition here in California of up-and-comer. Like if I open up Wikipedia, it's probably your face in there right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know so, about that. <laughs> who the heck are you? Well, I ran college for about three years at Cal State Monterey. Okay. And then sort of just focused on graduating early there, so I didn't run my last year. And then started running a lot on my own and stumbled across ultra running, like a lot of people I read about. Okay. And said, what the heck? And jumped in a race, a uh, local race, right in Marina called the Ordnance 100K. Okay. And did that one and- oh, 100K was your first Yeah, that was my All first right. race. Well, go home. I didn't know any better at the time. I kind of was well, reading about the high mileage people, maybe so. Maybe just like <laughs> common sense, say 100K is a long way. Yeah, and when you don't know a lot about the sport, you kind of read about 100 milers and stuff. So I was like, well, it's not 100 milers, so. It's shorter than this. <laughs> so how did that go? Oh, it kicked my butt. Okay. But I had, I had so much fun. It was just so different than anything I've ever done compared to college. And yeah, it was just a lot of fun, even though it was the hardest thing I'd ever done. <laughs> and this is about 14 or 15 months ago now? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. so what's happened since then? I know you've run a couple ultras and we saw you for the first time at the North Face 50 mm -hmm. yeah. in December. Yeah, um, done a lot of little races. Uh, we're running for inside trail racing right now, okay. me and my girlfriend, Jenny. And so I do a lot of their races because it's... Do you like how he got the mention of you in there? <laughs> <laughs> she she wanted me to give her a shout out. <laughs> Jenny's back there watching. <laughs> She's our single fan right now. <laughs> yeah, so I've just been doing a lot of local races. Um, but then I decided to do the North Face 50 because I wanted to do some competition and see what I could do. And that was the first time I had really raced against really good people. And that was just an eye opener. At yeah how fast people actually run these things and so from then I've just I took a little break about like a week or two of low easy running and then focused on just training towards this race okay. the next big one so you um you play 16th at the north face which in a in a field like that like finishing inside the top 20 is pretty decent yeah yeah just talk to me for a minute what about how that day <laughs> went for you did you uh, we saw you a couple times just sort of like kind of shit eating grinning around yeah, it was the just, course. I kind of said that I was just going to do my own thing. Okay. And I knew it would go out really fast because that's what everybody said. And yeah, all the leaders, I could see their headlamps off miles ahead of me. And I was just running back with all the SF crew, um, all those guys just hanging out. And then slowly just was kind of working up. And then I just. This is the first time I'd really bonked hard. <laughs> After Marincello, I was just, I was so dead and <laughs> it was a struggle to the finish. Okay. But yeah, I kind of just did my own thing and then realized you're kind of going to hurt no matter what. So you might as well <laughs> go out a little harder and okay. learn to surge and actually race. So. Okay. And since the beginning of the year, you raced way too cool. Yeah, yeah. Was that a month and a half ago? Mm -hmm. I kind of or... got into that race based off a of, race giveaway on Instagram oh, okay. by <laughs> Sufferfest Brewery, if you heard of them. Uh, I kind of just got into that through in like a caption contest or something, mm -hmm. you had to get tagged. And so I was like, all right, well, that's a good tune-up for Sonoma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So jumped in that one. So that's a, a race that moves even faster. Yeah, yeah. How'd that feel? It was good because I knew how competitive it was. Yeah. The last few years it's been stacked. And so that was like the first practice I had actually trying to race legitimately in a longer sort of race okay so so do you you are young you're 21 22, 22. just recently last week okay. well, happy birthday. <laughs> thank you you're 22 you come off of college running what is your training like what, what's a daily what's a daily it's, workout what's a week's routine for you now that you're kind of have a year's worth of experience and well, it's changed a lot just in the last year. Um, the last year of college, I kind of was slipping away from college running. 
and I started stumbling into like high mileage people to try and get good at college originally. And then me and my buddy, who's really good, he runs at Chico now, we just started cranking out as much miles as we could. <laughs> like literally. Yeah, like we did some 200s here and there and then I actually got into ultra running oh, okay. and saw that people had success more in ultra running with high mileage too. So I was like, all right, I'll just keep doing this and running a lot of just pure miles. And j until just recently, honestly, um, just the last month, I kind of, David Roach has been talking to me, trying to get me constantly, because he always does the local races, to actually do workouts and such. Okay. And I was always like, I don't like doing workouts. That's what I didn't <laughs> like about college. I like to just run a lot. <laughs> and finally, after he kicked my butt constantly at Way Too Cool, and then at Marin Ultra Challenge, I was like, all right, I guess I'll listen to you and <laughs> start doing some workouts. Okay. So uh, lately it's been, I've been running about like, like 130, 150 with some threshold work here and there on hills. Um, but yeah, that's, that's about it. Nothing really too focused. <laughs> Are you finding that um, certain types of terrain or certain pieces of runs that you go out and do come to you more naturally? You just, is eagerness like your biggest? <laughs> your uh, biggest like positive factor towards your running or yeah I just I really like trail running um, and I feel like I'm a lot stronger on hills and stuff <laughs> like cross country when it's just flat on grass I don't have that natural speed okay and I even see that like in way too cool you hit a flat section and I kind of I kind of get dropped a little bit okay. <laughs> so I, I love running hills I sometimes I like crave hills because I think I can catch some people um, but yeah I just it's a lot better than running on the road, etc. Doing workouts out in the middle of an awesome trail just makes it more beneficial and okay. worthwhile, I guess. <laughs> so at North Face in December, you ran and you said earlier when we were talking that you might have had your first experience walking. <laughs> are you um, taking into tomorrow's race lessons learned? Did you change? Are you changing your nutrition, your energy expenditures? What's your, yeah. what's your plan so we don't get there tomorrow? Well, now that I've been doing it kind of for a year now, I kind of actually read about ultra running and like what you should be doing okay. and how to like <laughs> focus on nutrition and stuff like that rather than just go out and run a lot of miles. Um, so yeah, I'm totally gonna focus on actually eating and drinking a lot. Um, I did, the first race I'd ever done ordinance, I did that again at the beginning of this year. Uh -huh. And that was much better. Way I think better. I ran like an hour and a half faster. Okay. <laughs> Me and another guy were just pushing it up front. And so I'm basically gonna try to do that same thing, just taking in goos and water. That's what works best for me. <laughs> are you, um, strategy wise, are you going into tomorrow looking for a golden ticket? Are you going into tomorrow looking to just see how, see how you stack up with some of these guys and trying to win? Yeah, I mean, I, this year I've actually, I've actually started to believe that I could do really well in competitive racing. Um, Last year was all about learning, getting my butt kicked at North Face, and now doing so well at Way Too Cool, I was like, all right, maybe I can actually, you know, start finishing up on the podium at competitive racing. So the golden ticket, that's kind of, yeah, that's always on the back of my mind. That'd be awesome. So you'd race Western if you got the that, golden yeah, ticket tomorrow. I could never turn that down. That's <laughs> such an awesome opportunity. <laughs> but if that, I'm, that's not the reason why I'm here. It's just because it's so competitive, and I've read such great things about this race and how it goes out really fast and a lot of people always have breakout races so all right Dan. and it's close <laughs> and it's close to home <laughs> yeah exactly well this is gonna be fun yeah yeah, yeah i'm excited you'll add an, an element of entertainment for us fans out there tomorrow good i hope i live up to it <laughs> <laughs> best of luck to you thank you so much megan it's awesome <laughs>